Hello all and welcome back to a brand new video. I'm Emily and this is Emily Pops. And in today's video we have the unnamed PS3 Essential series. This is a little introduction video on what to expect in this series. So, in order for this series to work, I will not have to beat a game. It's a, it's a Wednesday video. Yeah, a Wednesday video. And these videos are going to be released whenever I cannot upload my Beating the Backlog series. And how it works is per video, I have to pick up at least one PlayStation 3 Essentials video game that I do not own. So, if you want to worry about the PS3 Essentials, uh, it's the, basically the equivalent to the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1 Platinum. In total, there are 207 PAL games released. And I have a nice stack going. How many games do I have? I have quite a few so far. Not incredible by any means, but it's a nice amount. And in this video, I'm gonna show you all the PS3 essentials I've got, just to give a little welcome to the series if you will before we start do you like my new things in my background i think they're cool especially this special edition bioshock 2 it's insane it even comes with a bioshock steelbook and the bioshock 2 i think it's a strategy guide what i'm assuming is a strategy guide. i think that's really cool where did i get that from it was a gift. A gift, you say? Yes, a gift. A gift from the incredible and idiot on the internet. Really, really cool guy. And if you're cool too, you should go and give him a subscribe. He's just reached 50 subscribers. So let's get him to 100. So now let's get into the video. So. How many games do I have currently for the for the collection? I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 games in total. Not too shabby. I'm just a little over, no, a little under 10% of the way there. Might be around 10% actually, which... I like, I like a lot. So, so let's stop the procrastination and get into the games I've got. These will all be in alphabetical order and I won't say much on them as this at the end of the day is not a collection video. First up, we have Assassin's Creed. Don't worry, I know you're all gonna complain about the stickers. I'm actually currently in the process of removing all the stickers off my games. There's no more stickers on my Wii games and I'm about halfway through my DS games. So they are slowly but surely being removed. But yes, we have Assassin's Creed. Fun fact, I don't have Assassin's Creed on the Xbox 360. So I need to get that. Next up, we have Dead Island Game of the Year Edition. Really cool. Really can't wait to play this game. Haven't played it yet though. I own it on multiple consoles. Then moving on, we have Gran Turismo 5. I actually own the Essentials version and the Standard Edition of this game. And I need to give it a go again. Because my back buttons aren't working on my PS3 controller, I couldn't break. So, now I can figure out I can use my PS4 controller. I can actually give this game a good go. Next up, we have Heavy Rain Move Edition. This one was a cheap one to get and I got it. Whilst I was in London. Next up, we have Homefront Ultimate Edition. This is another game that is really cheap to buy. And it's one I already own, but this time on the Xbox 360. Next up, we have one of my favourite series. My favourite types of games, and that is the Lego games. So let's get right into them. First up, we have Lego Batman the Video Game. A standard price for a Lego game, £4, and I've not played this one, but I do think I own it on multiple systems, as I love Lego games. Moving on, we have Lego Batman 2. This one doesn't have 
a minifigure. Oh well, this one is £3, really cool. Next up we have Lego Harry Potter Years 1 to 4. Fun fact, I'm currently playing this on my Switch and I'm nearly 100%ed it. So really enjoy it and that was £5, another one I got in London. Next up we have Lego Marvel Super Heroes. I hate this game but I need it because it's an essentials so am I going to play it? No. Next up we have Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. Currently playing this game, so there we go. Proves I do play my games. So yeah, I like it so far. It even has a BAFTA sticker on it. Next up, we're still in the Legos. We have Lego Star Wars Complete, the Complete Saga. Uh, I think, I've not played this one. No, I have briefly on the DS. But yeah, it's another Lego game and that's the last Lego game I have for the Essentials range. Moving on, we have a standard in everybody's PS3 collection, and that is Little Big Planet. One pound. You cannot have a PS3 without owning at least one Little Big Planet game. So if you don't own one, buy it. They're only a pound. Moving on, we have another cheap one. It's Little Big Planet 2. Most of these games do have the manual. However, they do not all have the right disc. Ideally, as time goes on, I will be looking to upgrade these because I want them to be spick and span. But at this time, it isn't a priority. That will be a priority once I've got them all. Next up, we have Mass Effect 3. Very nice. Not played a single Mass Effect game, but I do think I own different versions. Next up, I like the look of this game. This is another game I got in London and it looks really cool. It looks kind of Ghibli, Ghibli, Studio Ghibli style-esque. And that is Nino Cooney. Really cute, really looks really fun. And I genuinely really, I'm excited to play it. I have no, no idea what this game is like, but I am excited. Next up, we have Ratchet and Clank A Cracking Time. Really cool. I know Ratchet and Clank is a very popular series, so I am looking forward to playing it. The next one is Ratchet and Clank Tools of the Destruction. This, oh, didn't drop it. This was a, a gift from Bricks and Gaming, I think. It was from Katie. I can't think of what her, her Instagram is. I know it. I speak to her. I follow her. But a really cool gift, and I am thankful for that. We're finally down to the last four games. First up, we have Skate 3, one of my all-time favourite games. I love this game so much, but unfortunately, it doesn't have the right disc, and it doesn't have the manual. But I needed an Essentials game, and I bought it. Not my best purchase for £8. I did want to send it back and change. Moving on, we have another cheap one. I just got it because it was in Essentials and it was only £1, and that is Start the Party. Will I ever play this game? Probably not. I'll be completely honest with you. Oh, well. And the penultimate game is Uncharted Drake's Fortune. I love the type of game that Uncharted is. I like the film, potentially an unpopular opinion, but... Yeah, I, I do want to get into the Uncharted games. And finally, the last PS3 Essentials game I have is Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Really cool, really nice. And that is all of my PS3 Essentials. So in this series, I will be documenting my journey through collecting all of the... Uh, PS3 Essentials, and you can join me along the way. You can see me go from 21 games to 207. Hopefully we do get there. I'm not sure on price ranges, but I think I should be good. Uh, yes. So, do I have anything else to talk about? Yes. Also, in these PS3 Essentials videos, I will be giving out shout outs to YouTubers 
I think deserve more subscribers and more love. To basically start this all off, the YouTuber I would love to give a subscriber shout out to is one that I think is severely underrated. He posts some really good content, the type of content I love watching because it is very similar to mine. And yeah, I know how much shout outs can help people grow their channel. So I'd love to do that for like payback of what other people have done for me to help me reach the stage I'm currently at now. And that YouTuber I wish to be shouting out today is btb game collector as i said i'm a really big fan of his channel i love the type of videos he posts and he's almost on 200 subscribers he's on 181 so fingers crossed if you all stay to the end and watch it you go and check him out and give him a good subscribe that would be greatly appreciated so that is the end of today's video hope you all enjoyed I hope you all like this new idea for the series. I know you do because I did a poll. And yeah, I wish to see you all on Sunday for my next video. We are now on the run up to 1.2k subscribers. We are just 44 away. So that is all for today. If you all enjoyed, remember to like. And I'll see you all on Sunday.